I think the role of art in Apache culture has always been important because we made art for one another. When I made Doug, I painted his skateboard. I remember thinking, well, a hundred years ago, I would have made him a bow and arrow, but now I made him a skateboard. The seed for Apache skateboards was planted 20 years ago when a young Doug Miles Jr. asked his dad for a special gift. We were at the mall. He said, Dad, he goes, I need a board and my board is broken. I didn't have enough money for a name brand skateboard with art on it. I said, son, I'll buy you the blank one and I'll paint it when I get home. I painted it an Apache warrior on there. When he got home, he said, dad, everybody wants one. And so Apache Skateboards was born. It resonated because at the time they made us feel proud. We want to see ourselves on the skateboards. As an artist, Doug Miles Sr. hoped his designs could teach others about his culture. Telling the story of Apache history was important. The struggle that Apache people had to deal with in America hasn't really been talked about from an Apache perspective. The Apache point of view is extremely important. I'm just one person, and it's just one skateboard. And even though I may be just scratching the surface, it was a good, fun way to encourage kids to learn more about their history. As the company has grown, so has the popularity of the sport in Native American communities. I think skateboarding is popular because you get to express yourself in all types of different ways, whether it's painting, art, music, filmmaking, because skateboarding is all of those things. You know, as a father, watching Doug become the skateboarder that he is, uh, it's almost unfathomable for me because I'm an artist, but his art is on the skateboard. And when I look at him skateboarding, I always think to myself, he is literally reshaping space and creating new uses for space out here on the res. Today, the father and son team are on a mission to increase access to skate parks on reservations. In these Native American communities, there's not a skate park on every reservation. And when there are skate parks, they don't take it for granted. Shaping and strengthening their community along the way. And I think that's this thing that keeps calling us home. It keeps uh, causing us to be creative in our own community. When we are building the community, you know, it's for the future. Doug Miles isn't just skate rad and skate cool. Doug Miles is living and working and skating in his own communities. With every grind, Doug Jr. is carving a path for the next generation to follow. I think that when you can see someone doing something in the same place as you, you kind of have a little more hope and say, hey, I can do this too. Um, this is possible for me. When you can walk in through the door first, you can open the door, people can follow you too. That's good. What am so I doing, right? Mm. Combining art and sport. For oh. more stories like this story, tune in to our Today All Day special. It's all about the power of building community. It's hosted by Joe Fryer. You can head to today.com slash all day, or you can find it on Peacock. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.